recent thread talk graphics um, entitled Grey Shade um, Manipulation, I can't remember exactly. Um, somebody asked, How would you re reproduce um, this type of header? Um, there's a bit of a plagiarism going on here, so I can't uh, actually say exactly where it comes from. I'll have to move various things out and around. Um, there's no intention of stealing anybody's work, it's just um, how would you reproduce a game in Zara? Um, what I've actually done is go to the, um, the original poster's web um, link to the website that he wanted to get this basically modelled effect here more than anything else, I think. Um, and how would you reproduce that in Zara? Um, and like all things in Zara, um, Rick has suggested one way and, um, and I'm suggesting another and neither are better than the other. Um, it's just a matter of um, whatever suits your needs. Okay, this is the way I'd go about it. So just what I've actually done here is I've, um, maybe I can zoom out to 50%, I've actually um, taken a screen grab of um, the website in particular that they wanted to at least match. So I'll go back up to 100 um, and that screen grab, I, to get that screen grab what I actually did was hit the control and hit plus 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 whilst in a browser and that um, actually zooms in on the image so you get a far more clearer idea. You can see here that there are kind of dark and light areas in that um, that section here. So okay, how do we go about recreating that in Zara? Oops, where have I gone? Uh, excuse me a minute. Okay. So here I've got this just that's just holds the bitmap of the screen grab that I, I've just taken. I'm going to make a new layer. Um, make it whatever you want. Lock the bottom layer. Go up to here. I'm in that, we're now working in layer three. I'm going to create a rectangle. Hold them down the control key just to ensure that. Um, is a square, not doesn't really matters. Control K, that rectangle, control K means clone it. And I'm going to move that down a bit there. Now I'm going to zoom in fairly close to those two. I'm going to select this top rectangle and I'm going to just run the eyedropper over, trying to pick the lightest colour within the that model background. And I think I've got as best I can get there. Similarly I'm going to select this rectangle and I'm going to go over and I'm going to try and get the darkest colour of this model background. And I'm not sure even how well this will show on a video but you've got this one here and this one here. The first thing I do is select the first rectangle um, open up the colour editor and I'm going to create, uh, hit the little label icon there and make it a new name colour I'm going to call this um, fill light, doesn't matter really what you call it create now I'm going to select that Make that another name colour, but I'm going to make this uh, a shade of the original colour, so this becomes a, a shade of fill light. I'll rename it all together and I'll call it fill dark, and that now means that the two of those fill colours are um, related. Uh, dependent on each other. 
so I'll close that now and I'll zoom back out and I'll just select these two I don't, don't need them anymore because if you look down here you've got fill light and fill dark are already in the colour bar so I'll delete those right so let's create a square here like this that size doesn't really matter and I'm going to fill that with fill light and I'm going to go down to the fill at the moment it's a flat fill I'm going to go down to a fractal plasma fill and I'm going to select this one here that says it's a fill light I'm going to select the inner one and select that to go as a fill dark and if we zoom in a bit the, the actual fill is probably a bit too um, too much we need to march it down a bit march it down a bit and I hope you can see there now that this rectangle square is getting a very similar fill, probably too too much at the moment. Maybe make it slightly bigger. You're not trying to match it. No, oh, sorry. You're not trying to match it um, exactly anyway. Uh, you can see what you want. Um, perhaps you think that the, the light colour is not good enough. You can open up the colour editor. Bring in the fill sorry I'm going to bring in the fill dark uh, the fill light colour I think well that's not not light enough I'm just going to ease that up a bit more I can bring in the fill dark and because the two are related you can see where they are related I can pull down the fill dark like that and hopefully you can now see that they're pretty well matched. Maybe hold down control key, just move that down a bit like that to get that more model effect. And I think there you've reproduced basically what is in that original one that your target was for.